all right in this video we'll learn about scd type 1 in theory as well as hands-on in azure portal also scd type 2 and we'll be implementing that hands-on and we'll be trying out some quiz later in this section as well so let's begin scd type 1 is one of the very important concepts in data warehousing a simple way to remember scd type 1 is that override just remember this one word override in scd type 1 what we do we override the values we don't maintain the history of the previous values if we look here in the uh, table this is one sample table which i have created if you look here after overriding the values if we implement a concept of scd type 1 then this value senior software engineer if you look uh, compare uh, with the employee id 1 which was here previously the job title was software engineer and after some time if we update then it simply overrides the previous value that is previous value was software engineer and now the current value is senior software engineer so the quick thing to remember is that we are not maintaining any kind of history here that is if someone asks after the update that after we have updated software senior software engineer here we won't be able to know whether uh, there was software engineer or IT engineer previously so that's what is the concept of SCD type 1 be, uh, if you want to know the business case why we do it there can be some kind of correction so uh, let's say uh, uh, this software engineer designation was incurrently implemented we need correction so this how we override the values and implement uh, the com concept of scd type 1 in our data warehousing so for scd type 2 it is like maintaining the history or the historical events how do we maintain the history if you look here in the uh, table we are maintaining the start date and end date if there are multi uh, there are let's say multiple values previous value we don't require there we indicate in the form of a flag uh, that is uh, here we have represented it in, a, in the column name as current flag so the values of the flag which are true are active records if the flag value is false then it is inactive how do we know it is inactive by looking at the end date if we look here the st it has start date and one expiration date that is end date that is this record was valid from this date to this date after that this record is valid because uh, if you look at the employee id here both has the employee id 1 right so uh, previous record is now not valid the next record that is this one uh, if you look uh, which doesn't have an end date and the flag is true it is uh, the current record or the active record so that's what is the concept just remember that in SCD type 2 we preserve the history so that's what is implemented here now let's dive into some hands-on to implement these concepts in Azure portal all right I'll tell everything uh, with the scratch let's uh, click on SQL database so this is required because if you want to practice a query with related to any kind of DP exams that is uh, data engineering or anything we need one SQL database to practice the query I'll uh, click on create SQL database I'll show everything from the scratch we need to create a resource group resource group is nothing where your resources uh, just like we are creating SQL database it is a resource so it should reside within the resource group let's uh, select one resource group we'll scroll down a bit we need to uh, give a name of the database so let's type uh, cloud guru amit uh, we need to create one server because the database will reside uh, within a server so we don't have a server currently so let's create everything from the scratch i'll cr click on uh, create uh, new let's give the server name uh, cloud guru test region is where the uh, server will reside let's give a random name because uh, if this is already present it will throw an error uh, next important thing is we'll use SQL authentication because we'll uh, 
fire queries uh, from the preview uh, there is uh, one query a direct query editor i'll show you let's uh, give uh, one name like uh, admin cloud let's uh, give it one password yep so password section is also configured let's uh, create uh, the uh, server so uh, server is created now let's uh, scroll down and change the compute database we don't need standard let's uh, use some uh, smaller capacity to see if come co some cost i'll click on uh, basic apply uh, we don't need backup strategy because it is a dummy database anyway so i've selected development here production is for more intense uh, we don't need sql pool more uh, next important thing is the networking tab uh, because if you don't uh, enable public endpoint you might face some problem and also we need to configure some firewall there are two ways of doing it one from while creating this and another hard way is after creating it so i'm not doing the hard way because the intent of this is not to like uh, spin off uh, create sql database but the intent of this demo is to demonstrate scd type 1 and type 2 so you need to select yes yes um, because i'll explain this concept later on in some basic tutorial let's simply go ahead and review and create create so it takes some time it's currently validating around 15 to 20 seconds uh, it will take uh, to spin up the sql uh, database so i have uh, created some uh, queries here uh, on my computer so please don't worry a diamond membership and above uh, will have i'll provide a pdf along with this document uh, where you can practice all the queries uh, which will be presented here in this uh, entire uh, series right so please don't worry about uh, these queries uh, i'll save you some time uh, to write these queries so let's uh, 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 go uh, like look into these queries i'll explain uh, just the basics of it because uh, this is not a basic level exam this is associate level exam so these are already expected and this is not a sql tutorial as well so uh, create table command i'm creating one table employee next uh, i'll insert some dummy values in the uh, tables um, and then implement scd type 1 so that is the intent so how does it look i'll uh, show you so let's uh, look at the portal all right our deployment is completed let's uh, go to this resource now and the interesting thing uh, you might have noticed uh, that the uh, firewall part uh, which is in the uh, networking uh, tab also like uh, we can uh, explore here as well if it was not open uh, but we have already done our homework and enabled it so i'll i can directly go to the uh, query editor uh, the login name it all, all already takes let let me input the password which i have provided while creating the uh, database you might have remember so let's click on ok so the query editor is a shortcut where we can uh, provide everything from the front end so let me so i'll copy paste uh, the queries one by one from my document and this is the insert part which i have uh, mentioned let's open one another query editor and next okay let's uh, first run these queries let let's create the table let then insert values next uh, let's check the values that is i'll write select star from employee table uh, let's run so the values are uh, there 10 values 10 dummy values so next step is to implement scd type 1 let's refer to this document I have already um, uh, done my homework that is we want to override uh, uh, the job title for employee one let me copy paste it so basically if you look uh, the query for SE type one is like updating the employee table let me expand here and show you so this is our employee table with primary key as employee ID uh, so where the employee ID is one I'll I'm simply 
updating the value of the job title as software engineer. So that's what I've shown in the theory as well. So now let's uh, run this query. All right, so it's um, the query is ready and run. So now let's do one uh, side by side comparison what we have done. So this was the previous uh, table uh, before the SAD1 implementation. As you might see, it's software engineer. And now if you look, it's senior software engineer. So that's what how we implement SAD type 1. So now let's uh, do the hands on for SAD type 2. I'll open one new query tab. I'll go back to my uh, word file. I'll create one table out of it. I'll uh, create one new table. This time I'll name the table name as employee cloud guru Amit. Let's uh, uh, run it. Let's insert some uh, dummy values uh, once again. Let me open a new query tab, paste it. Yep, run it. And as usual, let's uh, do one select uh, star to check the values inserted in the table. And let's select star. Yep, so there are uh, three values now. So let's uh, implement SCD type uh, two here. So the green ones are nothing, uh, but the comment lines, uh, th this one. Let's open a new query tab once again. Let's paste this. Uh, let's uh, run it. Yep. So uh, if we can see like affected three rows uh, here. Now let's do a select star once again. I'll copy paste this. Let's run this. All right. So, uh, okay, let me do one order by uh, employee ID because employee ID uh, one is common or we have or what we have implemented as C type two in uh, employee ID one. So let's uh, now compare. If you look here uh, before uh, implementing a CD type two, uh, if uh, like, let me go back. Yeah. So this is the uh, query. So before uh, implementing it, so the table looked some, something like this, that uh, it had start date, all the uh, flag uh, are true. True means these records were active, all the records were active and uh, none of them had uh, uh, any kind of end values. After uh, implementing uh, SCD type 2, if you look, employee ID 1 is twice, but the difference is the first record, this one is not no longer valid or it's uh, outdated or it's expired because it has one end date if you look and the flag is false so the active records we have denoted by true so these are the current active records and um, just remember in scd type 2 we have one start date end date and uh, modern data, data warehouses have one flag variable as well uh, we uh, represent the active records as true and inactive as false so that what the concept of SCG type 2. So now let's dive into some quiz and do some knowledge checks. Okay, this question will test your concepts on SC type 1, what we have implemented and done in the theory and hands on just now. So let's mark the keyword, always mark the keyword in real exam so as to arrive at the correct answer what the question is looking for. Uh, the question is looking for the concept of SCG type 1. Well, Look at option A first. E says modify existing records when there is a change in non-key attributes. Modifying existing record means we are updating the rows. Since in SCD type 1, we need to overwrite the values of the table. So we need to modify the existing records or the rows by updating the rows. And this can be the potential answer, we'll park this because the question is looking for two correct answer. Let's move to option B. B says add new records if the primary key is already present in the dimension table. In SCD type 1, if we uh, look here, we don't add any kind of record, we just update, right? That's what we have implemented in the uh, like uh, hands-on few moments back. 
that we have updated the value uh, we don't uh, do any kind of uh, like insert into rows just like uh, std type 2 right so this statement that is add new records is incorrect so option uh, b is out so now let's look at option c now option c if you look it's uh, mentioned adjust effective end date so again effective end date as we have remember like in we have this in scd uh, type 2 because effective start date and end date columns are present in scd type 2 and not type 1 because in scd type 1 we do not preserve history right uh, if we uh, refer once again that is type 1 there is no history preserved we just override the values so therefore option c is also incorrect we are left out with option d that is it says insert new record when the primary key does not previously exist in the table uh, we know that in data warehousing we can insert a new uh, we, we can insert a record only when there is no primary key in the table already present i mean to say like duplicate values like the uh, primary key shouldn't be duplicate in a table so hence this represents sc type 1 once again so this looks good and we'll log these as the correct answer all right we have one box type uh, question let's uh, look at the keyword the keyword is looking for uh, truncating and we need one t sql statement in box 1 if you look so in order to do one perform one truncate operation we need to uh, use uh, alter because in order to alter a table in a schema we need to grant alter so this looks good now let's move to box 2 in box 2 as, as per the question uh, we only need to able to uh, like truncate tables for schema 1 so the syntax uh, goes as schema colon colon schema name as per the question the we uh, only need to truncate tables for schema 1 so schema colon colon schema 1 is the correct syntax this looks good we'll log this let's look at the official documentation uh, here is a syntax or uh, one uh, demo of it grant insert on schema colon colon then uh, schema uh, to guest so guest is nothing but the username so that's uh, what is the correct answer we'll log this so please 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 don't go away if you want to unlock uh, more videos then uh, please uh, upgrade to uh, gold membership or above to view the videos so thank you so much for watching this video